1776, our goal is to bring patriotism to the front porch of housing and the communities that we develop henceforth. Further, the 1776 standards or covenants each 1776 homeowner makes to one another include a pledge of allegiance to the United States of America, an embrace of our nation's traditional motto, E Pluribus Unum, and last but not least, commitment to fly the American flag at all times. Yeah, you heard that correctly. The developer of a future suburban housing community in North Carolina will require all homeowners in that housing community to show patriotism by displaying the American flag on their properties. Now, he broke ground at this new site on June 17th. And as you saw in the video we just showed you, he made it into quite the production. So here's some more details on the developer himself and what he's trying to accomplish here. Brock Frankhauser, the real estate developer of 1776 Gastonia, Wave to onlookers from the open top of a sports utility vehicle. His wife, Nicole, was by his side wearing a cowboy hat and matching t-shirt with the development's namesake year, referring to the American Revolution. Video footage of the event shows a crane dangling a giant US flag over the site where 43 lots are for sale. Parcels range from oh wow, $17,500 for land, I'm sorry. Yeah, $17,500 to $75,000 for land and homes cost $410,000 and up in this city 20 miles from Charlotte. Okay, so let's note a couple of ironies here, which are hilarious. Um, but first, I gotta read you graphic three, uh, so you understand what I'm saying. Uh, the development, which the company has described as where freedom lives, is for homeowners 55 and older and not just any homeowners, patriots who will be required to fly the US flag on their properties, on a pole provided and maintained by the subdivision. Okay, so if you're forcing people to do something, is it really where freedom lives? Listen. Am I free to not fly the flag? No, you have none of that freedom. That's because freedom lives here. I mean, without the freedom, but it lives here, but not really. Listen, um, I get that this story is getting attention because of the patriotic angle that the developer is promoting here. But I just want to be very clear to everyone who might be curious about this. Anyone who purchases a property that involves an HOA, you will never be free. <laughs> you just won't. It doesn't matter if it's patriotism themed, it doesn't matter if it's um, fuddy duddies and busybodies who don't want you to do anything interesting with your property. Like HOAs happen to be where American freedom goes to die. Okay, so it's I, I didn't see that coming, but that it. is an Anna. I know classic. it. You know it. The American people know it, right? So, <laughs> like, it's it is interesting and ironic that he's marketing this as like something that bolsters freedom, when in reality, you don't even have to read the fine print. This is an HOA situation. There is no freedom here. Yeah. Flag or no flag, it doesn't matter. You're gonna have to abide by a set of rules that really do restrict you and what you can do with your own property. Yeah, and so he's got all these different rules. So freedom doesn't live there, just keep it real, that's point one. Point two is, is it really patriotism if you have to force someone into it? Like we're all patriots wow. here, that's why we force them to fly the flag. No, nah, that's not really a patriot. Well, those a patriot flies the flag because he wants to. No, that's, that's right, yeah, I mean, <laughs> look. I'm gonna venture to say that people who want to display the flag on their property are going to gravitate toward this housing development. It's not gonna Very attract likely. people who don't yes. wanna do that. So You don't have to live there, so that's true. Yeah, exactly. Now, if there was some sort of like municipal law indicating that all people living in that municipality had to fly a certain flag, including the American flag, well, it's, I do think that would be compelled speech, that would be an issue. Right, but this yeah, is a private, sure. a private business, private developer who's trying to attract home buyers of a certain age and of a certain cultural background, if you will. Yeah, and by the way, so we'll get to more of the details in a second. But overall, have at it, Hoss. I mean, it is what it is. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys want to get together and like cosplay revolutionaries? <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Sounds fun. Maybe there'll be a different subdivision with furries. I don't know, but to each his own, I don't mind it. But okay, this is what I also want to understand. Like, Why is it that love for the country and so-called patriotism 
is only thought of as a characteristic of the right. No, yeah, and have, that's a great I, point. I have a, I do have a problem with that because, no, yeah. Anyway, but but I actually think that's the left's fault. Let's keep it real, okay? So the the left represents actual American values: justice for all, not just for some; equality for all, not just for some. Right? We should be super proud of America. I'm an immigrant. I'm super proud of America. That's why we came here. And I think this, that doesn't mean you just close your eyes like the right wing wants to do. I don't see any faults. I don't see any mistakes that we made. No, you can say, look, there's tons of mistake, mistakes we made. And we currently have tons of faults that we're working to fix. But overall, I love the country. And, and by the way, the left, you guys, you're not getting it. Two thirds of the country is on your side. So I saw somebody else today saying, "Oh, I'm never some celebrity or something that's on the left saying like uh, they're never gonna like this country. Why? Two thirds of the country agrees with you. In fact, the right wing is the loud minority. You look at it, the policy issues, not just economic issues, but even on social issues, open to gay marriage, uh, in favor of equal rights for blacks, trans people, everybody, right? Two thirds of three quarters of Americans. So we should try to keep fixing the mistakes, no question, right? But while we love the country and fight for it, don't run from the American flag. The American flag is ours. Yeah, I love that you just said that and I agree with you wholeheartedly. So let's get to the developer and what he has to say about his motivations here, what inspired him to have this patriotism themed development. Well, he says, we're in a valley right now. And to the extent that I can have any impact whatsoever on bringing us from a valley toward a peak, it would give me tremendous satisfaction. I'm a little bit of a pervert because I read that. No, no, <laughs> you're not. No, the guy, like, come on, you gotta be careful with your press releases. So no, the guy's I love like, it. The guy's like, I'm about to peak, I'm about to peak. All of a sudden I peaked and I've lost interest. Like, hey, 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 it's a family place, okay, <laughs> keep it, take it easy. Yeah, and um, as for um, his plans to identify potential homeowner patriots for the 1776 community, uh, Frank Hauser, the developer said, quote, there is no screening process that's different than how one would buy a home in any other neighborhood. We're only as strong as the pledges that individual homeowners make to one another. Um, I don't know what that last sentence means, but the, the first part of that communicates to me, as long as they can buy the property, that's really that's really what we're concerned about. <laughs> no, <laughs> and then I, I they have to abide by the rules, which is flying that the flag. Right, yeah. I think to be fair to him, basically what he's saying is, I'm not gonna do like some analysis of your life and hire private investigators to make sure you're gonna follow these rules. You're gonna pay me the money, you're like coming for this goofy 1776 thing. So I'm gonna trust you and then if, but if you break the rules, then we're gonna have issues. That's what he's saying. And Frank Hauser says that he's just getting started. This is only the beginning. Mm -hmm. What are his future plans? Well, he says, we think that commonality and unification is a critical element in patriotism because it brings us to the broad, uh, broadest denominator of being in America. We will shun any attempts to make this a political movement. Come on, dude. I mean, look, I wish it was the case that the left wing and the right wing it showed their patriotism in similar ways through, mm -hmm. you know, love of the country, et cetera, et cetera, right? But they don't, and and that's unfortunate. But you know, that's a right wing place. <laughs> I'm not going to move there. I know who's gonna be there. No, right? it's totally about commonality and unification. Is it? Totally. Is it? And yeah. guys, I, as you can tell here, I'm like over the top corny in how much I, I love America. Uh, but I'm still not gonna live in a place where it's like 1776 and patriots and muskets and flags. and Like, take it easy, okay? Like, do a little bit of that and then live your regular life. You're almost trying too hard. Yeah, and look, I, I think it comes as no surprise that he was a Trump supporter. He was also someone who's willing no, to donate really? money to Trump's oh, campaign oh. in 2020. Oh. Okay, so, but let's get to what you brought up earlier, Cenk, right? How ironic it is that this is a patriotism themed, freedom themed housing development uh, that has very strict rules. Well, um, <laughs> The restrictive covenants, a norm in residential real estate, allow homeowners associations to enforce rules and consistency in planned communities because we love consistency. We love mm -hmm. repetition, nothing unique, everything looking the same. Now, Frank Hauser, though, defines them as a, get this, pledge of allegiance to the United States and promises among neighbors. Mm. What? It sounds like he realized like, oh, 
these rules kind of run counter to the whole notion of freedom. So how can I reframe this? Yeah, <laughs> you know it I? looks like requirements, which is not really freedom. So but the pledges, pledges, we're making in pledges. Those rules okay. and your agreement to those rules is the Pledge of Allegiance. You know, yeah. if, if Larry David was here, he'd say, Funkhauser, what do you mean pledges? What do you mean pledges? Can I ignore the pledge? Can I ignore it completely? I love that the guy's name is Funkhauser, basically. I thought it was Frank Hauser. It, There's you're no right. R. It is, it's Funk, Funk, F A N K, Funk Hauser. Good news, you only gave a pledge to pronounce it right. That's right. It wasn't a requirement. It was not a requirement <laughs> because I'm genuinely free. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then don't, aren't they promising people a lot of things too, a lot of goodies? So, okay, let me give you more details. So he doesn't anticipate that enforcing the flag provision will be an issue um, and has not uh, included repercussions in the covenant if anyone refuses to fly the flag. Let me just say there will be repercussions. It'll probably be a fine. That's usually <coughs> what homeowners associations do. And they'll probably harass you incessantly until you want. Anyway, moving on, um, now get your checkbook ready because the 1776 Gastonia properties go on sale on July 10th. And um, Brock is re ready to make you a real American. So, oh, well, I wasn't, but thank you, yeah, all right, I so appreciate it. The developer here, Funkhauser, is gearing up for outreach uh, with the goal of spreading a patriotic flame that lives inside of him. I do- Is that, is that the one that makes him peak? I, it sounds like it, sounds like it. I do think that I can have some influence on turning up that flame in every individual. Dude, just don't touch me, that's all. <laughs> and to be fair, this guy's at least trying to do something charitable as well. So, okay, this is, this is good. This is a really, really great thing that he's doing. So each 1776 community will donate a home with absolutely no mortgage, free of cost to a wounded veteran through their nonprofit Building Homes for Heroes. Yeah. So that's nice and he deserves credit for that. So I wanted to make sure we got to that for two reasons. One, we're the fairest show in America and he does deserve credit. That is a wonderful thing. So you could be a right winger and still take care of the poor, the needy, etc. Good for him. And secondly, socialism. What are you making them pay for a home for a guy that's not them? That sounds like socialism if you ask me, okay? I don't know, freedom or socialism? I'm a little worried about you, Funkhauser. Okay, but seriously, good job on helping out the veterans. I appreciate that. And I end this story with America. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.